this is Paul. Welcome back to my channel, Bigli Gadleya. The last episode we did a utility run where we just went out and you know got gold. So in this episode, I think we gotta do something that is progressive in terms of gameplay. Uh, so I thought of like doing a boss run. Maybe we can do this one. Um, this one is a little tough if you if you really want to think about it because uh, this guy, the Brigade Eight Pounder, is a little little iffy. You know, let's let's just say that uh, we can do this necromancer apprentice. But my problem is we don't have that much amount of soldiers that can actually do some damage. So if we come across like the collector or stuff like that, you know, the mini bosses in the dungeon, uh, we can really run into some trouble because those guys are not well prepared enough for us to take on like two bosses in a single run. Uh, the Swine Prince even, this is actually really really great, the Legendary Bracer in terms of damage, stress reduction and speed reduction because this guy is really strong and damage wise he does a lot of damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just debating between these two and I'm going to go for the Swine Prince because I think we can handle it uh, or at least that's what I'm thinking but let's see how that goes. Uh, can we upgrade the guild by any chance? Nope. All right. Okay, let's see. These are the guys that we are going to take. Even though they have a little bit of stress, it doesn't matter. Uh, so you can be upgraded in terms of all things. We have a lot of gold now because of that one single run. So that's nice. We are all upgraded. And we got to take someone in terms of health, healing wise. I would rather take an occultist than a Vestal in this case because I think they can reduce more stress than not. Uh, in between these two level 1s, this guy is good. But in terms of level, level he can't stay in the third position, right? Because he's gonna stay. Maybe we can no, because he's gonna guy stand like this. Uh, you don't have abyssal artillery with any of these guys, right? Uh, no, because that's the major major issue. Maybe this guy has it. Yeah, this guy has it. So we can take this guy out, no problem. Uh, he's fully upgraded. Woo! I didn't expect that to be the case because I didn't upgrade him that much. All right. All right, whatever. Okay, let's see. He's not been upgraded at all. This must be interesting. Uh, so you are upgraded. So you are upgraded. Nice, nice. Embark. And we are gonna go for the swine prince. You go. You both go outside. I'm not gonna take you. Uh, Renal, you're gonna be at the stop. And no, you're not gonna be there. Sorry, buddy. Uh, you're gonna be there. And uh, here you are. You're gonna be position four. And you're gonna be position three. Now. The mixed bag, nice, nice. Uh, unequip all trinkets. Choose me for the next expedition. Uh, I have chosen you for the next expedition, buddy. Uh, just see it. Uh, I'm going to use this because of the protection gain that he gets. And uh, this is actually kind of good. Uh, but do I want to give him damage? Not like. Uh, I mean, he, we can give this. In, you know, in terms of like damage skills, he's not going to have healing skills at all. We are not going to use it. So let's just do that. Uh, you're going to get this first crit. Sorry, this crit chances and stuff like that. Uh, this one, maybe. But he's a lot of dodgy guy. So I'm going to give him this. Even though the HP is like slightly damaged. Uh, I don't care about it. 25% healing skills. 25% stress healed. Uh, maybe. Right, maybe. The Plague Doctor, you're gonna take your two items, which is like accuracy melee skill, bleed skill chance, damage melee skills, which is good, and H accuracy, which is really, really, really great. Uh, HP is gonna take a dip, but I don't care about that. So you're gonna get the healing skills, you're gonna be highly stressed out, but I don't really care about that because we need stress, like we need healing a lot. Alright, let's go. Uh, we gotta take two of these, four of these, because this, uh, this place can't have the situational problems. We're gonna take three bandages, three medicinal herbs, a key, uh, three holy water, maybe two is enough. I don't know. We need two stacks of torches, and that's it. Let's go. We have gold problems yet again. Rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Okay. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. Okay. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. All right. 
the monologue. I understand. Oh shit, I don't know where he's gonna be. One, two, maybe here. Maybe here or here. Here can, can't be a possibility. I think it's gonna be here. Right? Uh, yeah. So let's go there. Let's go there. We'll take. Oh shit. Please surprise them. No, oh my god. These bastards are gonna be tough. They are. If they give us if they give us disease, that's uh, see the it. Lethargy, what it does. Minus four speed. That's just lovely, isn't it? He was the speedy guy in the group, and then boom. Hey, <laughs> no more speed. Yes, lovely. Don't give me disease two times in a row. I just don't. I like. I don't like it. They go dead. Nice damage. Nice damage. Uh, you're gonna use abyssal artillery to kill that guy or not? Or not at all. That's annoying. Uh, please don't. You're gonna be obviously faster than everyone else. But he has a disease already, so I don't think there's a possibility of getting a second disease that much after you got the first one in a single, single kind of like a attack. I don't think so, but it might be a possibility. But he was speedy. He was speedy, really. But now it's not. What it? What does this do? Uh, we have not already used anything here. Uh, no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck with that because that's a fucking skeleton. Uh, you should not fuck with that, you know. You should know about that yourself. We are surprised. 76 light. I understand. I, that that possible. That that is possible. That, that that happens all the time, right? No, it doesn't. This is lovely. There you go. That's the crit we needed. Nice, nice. That was unexpected. Uh, good job. But he has the high accuracy, right? That increases the chance of doing a crit damage. I like it. Uh, you pretty much doesn't have anything that is useful in the first position, so we can't. We are not going to use you that much. You have something that is good. You shoot him. Uh, you can stay here, but this guy. Oh come on! The crusader needs to move uh, to the first position at least, or the second position at least. There you go. Uh, now we gotta have a heal on that guy. That jam. 16, 16. Are you shitting me, dude? What the fuck is happening to you? You're strong. Don't give me a disease. That guy is already like highly that I don't know. He's not the perfect guy for this. Uh, so don't give me diseases as well. Uh, shoot this guy. Ugh, dodge. He has eight freaking dodge. Thirteen dodge. <laughs> the fuck was that about? I don't know. There you go. He's dead. Obliterated. Obliter. Ob I do I can't say that word for some reason. I just can't. I tried it so much times. I can't say that word. I'm sorry. Obliterate. Obliterate. You know what? I'm not gonna try. Just just leave it at that. There you go. You are going to I don't know, use this on yourself. Uh why not move to the front? I don't know. Buff him. Uh there you go. You are gonna move here. This is gonna this is gonna be a little bit weird. But there you go, that's what I wanted. Nice. See, the planning is good. I I, I know what the fuck I'm doing. Or maybe not. You never know. That is Slow and insidious killer. We'll go here because we'll get the thresher. And we can use uh, default body line first. We can use this to reduce stress. There you go. We are going to have uh, less stress. I mean, we have a possibility of getting surprised even when we have a high light. But I don't think that was a necessary situation. But we don't... See, we didn't... Uh, I don't know. It's annoying, but we are trying to bleed them. We are gonna use the abyssal artillery there. We should have used the blight on those guys, but we didn't. So we are gonna move on. Don't think about it. Blanket fired. I wanted to miss on all of them, but that's all right. Rain of whips. This just causes. Ooh, that's the dodge. There you go. Uh, can you shoot that guy in the hand? There you go. He's dead. Nice. Uh, you are gonna only attack him because you don't have any other targets. I probably understand. But seriously, there you go. Nice. He's dead. He's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Now, this guy should die. There you go. That's the crit. Reduce your stress. Nice. And you can just use this. That's the <laughs> Nice. Because it, we, we need to crit. We it, at least reduce the stress on those guys. Uh, you can, we are gonna take this over that. Nice. We are gonna take the deeds. We are gonna use a key. 
Nice. What, what does it give? Gold and uh, deeds. I mean, it doesn't matter, you know. I think the boss is here. I have a I have a gut telling me that the boss is here, not here. Because we, we started here, right? We could have gone here, here, here pretty easily. But the only place we couldn't go that easily was here. So I hope the boss is there. Uh, eat for food. We have a lot of food. Don't worry about it. And I don't think the boss is here because we got a scouting report there. Nice. Uh, please surprise them at least. No. Okay, fine. They are faster. They are bitchier. And they are going to cause some havoc. Nice. The blight damage is really annoying but not the end of the world. Uh, they are going to slow us, mark us, stun us. All those things is not the end of the world. The only end of the world is that we don't kill them fastly. If we don't kill them fastly, they can pretty, they can become pretty annoying. But I think we can do it. You know, you and me together, we can do it. There you go. Abyssal Artillery will kill one. Uh, the Blight will kill the other. Give my Crusader a chance. Come on, you know, you want to. The Last Accusation will kill them. Nice. I think that we got this. Um, I hope so. Uh, we don't have a gold situation here. Uh, no problem. We won't take that. Can you give me a scouting report? No, hey. We don't want to go there and see the bosses there and we didn't, you know, just use the firewood. Just be ca just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Uh, heal everyone, nice. Uh, you are going to use the anti-venom to just reduce it. And you can use the uh, prevent nighttime ambush thing. Uh, who has the, like, you can remove diseases, right? Uh, self only, that's the problem. That's so much trouble. Uh, so who can, like, you have what? Uh... You know what? Do this. Good. Good. That's it. We don't have any other thing. Uh, leeches. Removes blight. Remove disease. Oh, there you go. Removes disease. There you go. Nice. Um, nothing. I have nothing more to say. Everyone is good. Good. There you go. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Still no scouting report on that part. All right. Okay. Understandable. I'm not going to touch that. No. No. Please. The boss be here. Let the boss. Yes. I played this game 50 hours. That's that's the proof. Okay, this guy should be gone. But I think I'm gonna concentrate on the boss because the boss is a bitch. 132 health. Are you shitting me? You get it. You're dead. Uh, so we can blight him because he's uh, considered to be number three, number four. He's blighted, bleeding. Nice. The the mark is annoyed because he can do a lot of damage for the mark guys. He can stun us. But he didn't move us. That's a good. That's a good start, I would say. Both of us are not stunned anymore. He takes six damage every turn. Obliterate masses. Yeah, that's why I brought an occultist, not a vestal, for healing because yeah. And this one, shit. Stop it! What did I'm a occultist ever do to you? Blight them even more. Both those bastards. See this guy. He takes eight damage. He's gonna die next turn. Stop it! Stop it. Occultist, you are going to bring him back from the dead. Please, can you do that? Thank you. Yeah, you can. Nice. If we heal him, two health. That's just that's just bad. That's all I can say. That's just bad. 15 health, no crits. All right, that's bad. But he takes 10 damage now. That's good to know. 8-2 damage. Okay, and this one worked. But you're going to be on the death's door. Now, at least you are not stunned anymore. He's going to die next turn. Yeah, we are not going to touch him this turn. But, yeah, that's going to be annoying. Oh, he's there on the blood deal anyways. You know what? Use the bandage. And you can use the bleeding thing. You're going to cause some more bleed. Yeah, you're going to cause some more bleed. Uh, you're not going to use your turn well. Oh, shit. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. There you go. Nice. Uh, you're going to attack him. He's going to die, right? Please tell me he's going to die. He's going to die. Uh, you're going to bring him out of the death's door. 21 health heal. That's what we want. Because, yeah, death's door is bad. He can die. That's a possibility that he dies. But let's hope he doesn't die. And uh, killing him first was not a big deal. But at least we have a chance to just do these kind of damages to him. Uh, kind of like blight. Yeah, he gets blight. 16 damage taken. I think we can kill him. We have a chance to kill him. He has a low blight chance for becoming... Uh, he has zero blight chance for a swine. I, I am really surprised at that because I thought he would be he's a swine prince he just literally is in the sewers right I thought he would be more reluctant to just be like a 200% blight damage or something like that but he's not 
that's surprising. That's good. We got two chances there. Nice. We healed. Literally fully healed him. Nice. Okay, you're still gonna blight him. Still gonna take blight damage. 16 damage. Uh, he's gonna die this turn. Yeah, when he gets a chance, he's dead. Good job, guys. Everyone did a great job. We got this one again. I don't know why. But we did. We got the Minotaurs thing. You got a food thing. Uh, I don't know what that is important. Just eat it. And, uh, yeah. We finished. Why would I continue adventuring in this hellhole? Can anyone explain that to me? No, I'm not gonna be here. Goodbye. There you go. Nice little boss run. 3000 gold. Not bad at all. I think we put more into the gold uh, aspects. But I think we got something great in return. We have a level 4 now. Which is great. Jacknomania. Obsessed with killing. Eh, I don't know. Medicine in town. Oh, this is actually great. Irre irrepressible. Virtue chance. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice, right? It is. Alright. Let's go out here. And then put them into stress reduction facilities. They didn't get that much stress. No, they didn't get stressed at all. Interesting. Huh. Like, I thought they would take that much stress, but no. I mean, I can take them back with the uh, jester and then just like reduce their stress on the go. That makes more sense than like putting them here. Nice. That, that worked out really well for us, isn't it? Alright guys, that was a quick little nice boss run that we did. Let's see if we have someone to hire. No, if we have someone to hire. We pretty much maxed this out. But the experienced recruits are not here, so I'm not even going to bother. Uh, let's see if we can do anything of these. No, we need the deeds. Can we do any of these? No, we need the bus. Or the portraits, I'm sorry. Right? That's a portrait, right? Yeah, the portraits, sorry. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, next time when we come back, I think we are going to do uh, another boss run. Maybe with the same squad. I don't know. They are not stressed out that much. They are fine with it. Uh, maybe we can do the medium run, which is great, I would say. Um, I don't know. We are... Are we... The kill... Uh, I don't know. They, maybe we we'll do this. Caregivers convention. I, I want to see how that works out. What does that do? Uh, maybe if that gives something in terms of like experience, uh, damage, that sort of a deal. I can go here and do the boss run. You know, that kind of a pair will, will work out, I would suggest. Uh, we'll do the same thing here, I say. So anyways, guys, hit that like button. Share the video with your friends and family. So stop posting around at that subscribe button also the notification icon on the sidebar let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the boss swine prince do you think he should be you know having a high blight resistance because he is a fucking king of uh, pigs you know in terms of that in regards he has a zero percent blight resistance i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing let me know in the comments down below that would be the question of the hour for you and i'll see you guys on the next one until th next time be regular stay regular bye